we're about to talk about some snare tuning. A lot of the times I get asked, you know, how do you set your cymbals up? What mics do you use? What recording techniques? And I, sometimes I have time to answer those and sometimes I don't. I like to gear towards the drum lessons, but this is a question I get asked all the time and it has something, it pertains directly to what we do and that is tuning the drum. I've done one on kind of tuning the toms, general, it's an, a general overview. It's not a very specific, you know, if you do this, you're gonna get, it's a general, how do I get a good sound out of this drum? Because I don't think a lot of people are going, oh, you know, if I tweak this left nug here, am I going to be able to eliminate some of the ring from that? You know, it's not where most of us are. Most of us are like, I need a freaking good sound and drum because I got a gig in 30 minutes. So how do you get a good sound out of a drum that you have? What this video is not going to be is metal versus wood drum. Uh, it's not going to be what kind of snare strainer you're going to use. It's not what kind of coated or clear. We're not talking about any of those things. We're talking about how to get a good sound out of your snare drum. Okay. Whatever snare drum you have, obviously if you have a metal snare drum, guess what? It's going to sound metallic. If you have a wood snare drum, guess what? It's going to sound a little bit warmer. If you have a real deep snare drum, guess what? You're going to get a pretty deep sound out of it. And you shouldn't try to tune this huge deep snare drum to sound like a little bitty metal piccolo, right? A huge deep wood snare drum is not going to sound like a little bitty snare uh, piccolo that's metal. So what you want to do is tune to the drum you have. Um, and having said that, I've taken this drum and I've made it sound just not great. To me, it sounds just the worst it sounded in a while. Here we go. We got all kinds of weird overtones there. The snare's kind of flappy and loose and flaccid. And so what do we do with a snare? The, the thing that I think that so many of my students have whenever they come to tuning their snare is not only do you have to worry about the top and bottom head, you also have to worry about the strainer on here that we have. What's a good, acceptable snare sound to that? And then you also have to worry about getting that pop. You know, you want to crack, but you don't want it to sound like Formica. So you have a you have a couple things to worry about. You have to worry about the attack. You have to worry about the tone. You have to worry about the snare sound coming from the snare. So there's a lot of variables when you're tuning a snare drum. My first thing I always do is eliminate one of those things. I just want to focus on one and you have to make it simple. So what I do is I eliminate the snares altogether. Just turn them off. Okay. There. Now it's just like a Tom. All right. So having said that, I start with the bottom head. I get a good sounding bottom head and then I move to the top. So I'm actually going to move this mic and it's probably going to make some clickety clackety noises. Deal with it. And we're going to turn this over and then I'm going to remic it. Remiking your drums, not part of the tuning process. And then what I'm going to do is, is this throw off is already off and I'm going to kind of teach you a trick that a lot of drummers know. Some don't know if you know it. Great. If you don't, then great. You're learning it right now. Loosen those snares up as much as you can. Because the thing when you're tuning the bottom head is, oh man, how am I going to hold these snares up while I tune it? Well, just loosen them up as much as you can. And then take your stick and go across the head like that and bam, instant great sounding ride cymbal when you hit it up like that with that. No, it's, it's an instant non-snare sound. I'm actually going to move that over here so it's out of my way. So where do we start? Okay, decide, do you want a higher pitch to, uh, bottom head or do you want a lower pitch? I'm not going to go into, well, if you do higher pitch, it's gonna, this is a basic, how do I get a good sound? Okay, I like to crank mine up because I get a little bit more of a pop and snap whenever I hit the snare like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around these lugs. And excuse me, I should tell you, take your bottom hand or do this on a drum throne, but muffle that top head with your hand. So we're just getting the sound from this one. And then go about an inch from each um, drum lug and hit it. See what kind of sound we're getting. Okay, I like this lug, okay, I'm gonna crank it up just a touch. I think I'd like it a little higher than that. Okay, you hear the difference in between those two lugs? Bam, bam, bum, bum, bam, bam, bum, bum, bum. Okay, I like to tune lug to lug. Some guys go clockwise, clockwise, some go counterclockwise, some go lug across from lug. I think the proper way to do it in my book is to go from here over to here. Once you get that one, you come over to the one on the right, go from there to there, and you come back to the one on the right, and you work your way around until you're done with the drum. Okay, so I'm hitting this one. Bam, 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 bam. 
boom, boom, it's just a little bit lower. What I want to do is make all of these lugs equal. So I'm actually going to go through this whole tuning process with you and make you listen to me do this. And we'll try to do it quickly. So those are close enough together. What's the next one? Boom, 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 boom. So I need to come up with this lug to make it equal to this one. Bam, 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 real close. This top one's just a little bit lower. Okay, those three legs sound alike. Bam, bam, bam. They sound pretty good. I'm going to go to the one on the right here. Bang, bang, boom, boom. So tighten that one up a little bit. That one's low. So let me get that. Now let's go to the one on the right of that. See what it sounds like. Always compare it to the first lug you started with. Dun, dun. Hit around all the lugs you've already tuned to make sure you're kind of staying in the symbol and you're not, you know, a semblance of the same sound and you're not getting off from that. That one's way low, so we got to come up. A little too high. I'm going to come up with this one and a lot of times whenever you're tuning when this one comes up it'll affect the sound here and it'll also affect the sound here so as you're tuning you're gonna to have to go back to certain lugs and go oop that got off a little bit let me crank this down crank it up so you'll have to adjust around the head that one's too low that ride symbols determined it's going to be a part of this lesson and we have one more here to complete it. So up here, remember we started here, going all the way to the right. So they're all sounding pretty decent now. See here. Now, I would like that whole head to be go just a little bit up. So I'm gonna crank every one of them about a half a turn. And you'll go, oh, don't do that. We just spent all that time trying to get it in tune. Sure we did, but that's part of tuning, is it takes a few minutes. I'm gonna try to speed this up as much as I can, but at the same time, get a good tone with these drums. And now you do what I call a tweak. You go back through and you find the lugs that are different. Those are about the same. A Little bit low. A Little bit low. are about the same. That one's a little bit lower. Come up just a little bit. We'll hit one more lug. Too low. Too low. Too low. Too low. No, not correct. All right, so we have a semblance. Still not right. Let's try that. Better, better. Okay, so now... We have a pretty good snare head, a bottom snare head sound, and that's what we're going for. So let's be done with it. We're done with that for right now. We'll come back to it. I'm gonna move the mic again. Shake, crack, rattle, pop. And then I'm gonna put the snare on its top head. And now the snares are already hanging down, so you won't have to worry about actually making them uh, not a part of the equation because they're already down. I like for my top head to be just slightly uh, below my bottom head. That's just a personal preference on my snare. So we're gonna tune that way. Um, and as you can see, kind of sounds horrible. You can tell like you get all these strange overtones when these lugs are not at least 
somewhat in a semblance of the same pitch. So what do we do? We go about starting to find the lug we like. I don't like any of those. So I'm going to tune one of these lugs. I'm going to crank it. <laughs> Sing the overtones to yourself. Sing them. <laughs> now let's start there. Come across. Just a little bit more, come up just a touch with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just slightly below. And this is, I know is boring, but you guys wanted a video on how to do this. So, so far we've tuned the bottom head, completely taken the snares out of the equation. And now we're onto the top head. You hear the difference there? Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. I mean, that's a huge difference. Let's crank that baby. Still a huge difference. And sometimes if you crank and crank this one and you realize it's not coming up, sometimes the culprit can be this guy over here. It's still too low. <laughs> oh man. I told you I went around this drum and I just like went crazy with these tunings. So that'll be good enough coming across here. That's good enough. Now let's go to the third one over here. Boom, 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 boom. Crank that baby up. Home, home, boom, home. That's my Kermit the Frog tone. Still too low. We'll need to tweak it in a second. This one's pretty low, so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up now that I know it's low. We just need to keep cranking. Ding, ding, don't, don't. We're, we're just a step or so away from it. Ding, dong, ding, dong. So close. So we're going to crank this up over here a little bit and one more here. Okay, now those are sounding better. One's a little bit low. We'll go on across here. Come up here, come up just a little bit here. I have nothing entertaining to say here because there's really nothing entertaining about tuning a drum. What we're doing is trying to get all these in the same tonal family. So that one needs to come up just a little bit. Now there are things out there that will help you to actually it'll measure how, how what the tension is on each rod, but a lot of times we don't have time to do that. So this is the old fashioned way. At least we don't have to like stretch the cow skin like we used to have to and then put it on there. I say we like I ever had to do that. And then you had to cut around it. They actually had to deal with this cow animal hide that would stretch and depending on how much um, moisture was in the air. Okay, so that's a semblance. So let me go around here and make sure all these are in line. Okay, so now we have a lot better sounding head than we had before. All right. So we tune the bottom head. It sounds pretty good. It sounded better when I hit it before because I'm not trying to hit it from underneath. We tune the top head. It's not sounding bad. Now what we want to do is take the snares and turn them back on. How do they sound when you turn them back on? Well, there's nothing because you've loosened them so much. They're not even touching the head. So now we want to go through and hit until it just barely touches. Okay. So you see right there, they're just barely touching. Listen as I slowly tighten them and you'll find a sweet spot.
You get to how that starts sounding like a formica, a piece of formica or a piece of a tile. We want to do is back that down a little bit. Okay. Back it down. And you heard a sweet spot where it's got a nice cushion. I like a nice cushion to mine. Of course, I live in Nashville. And so it's a lot of, uh, a lot of country music here. So that is a pretty decent sounding snare. Um, now, the thing that you have to worry about when you're putting the strainer on is you wanna make sure that you have enough room here to adjust. If you put the strainer on too tight whenever you're actually apply, uh, uh, mounting it to the snare, you're not gonna have enough room to adjust here because it's gonna be so tight that even the loosest amount will sound like this. If you put it on too loose, you're not gonna be able to tighten it enough. So you really have to play around, kind of turn it back over, make sure it's tight enough. You have to play around whenever you get it on. I hate tuning drums. I hate it, I hate it. I'd rather stab myself in the eyeballs than tune drums, but it's something we have to do. And, and so it's something I've kind of come up with shorthand methods of how can I get a good sound out of this drum. Now, if I need to get real specific with tones, I can do that as well. Um, the next thing you'll want to know about a snare is some of them have barks, especially if you have a metal snare or if you have um, a snare like this one. For some reason, this I call it a bark because after you hit it, it goes, hur, hur, hur. that's the exact sound like a dog that you kick, right? So this, this to me has a bark to it. Pow, pow. After I hit it, you get the first initial and then it's got a pound. I take a piece of moon gel. You can tune some of that out. If you're EQing live, you can EQ some of that out. The easiest fix for you is to take a little thing of moon gel and either cut it in half or just take the whole piece of moon gel and stick it on there. And what that will do is take away that ring. And right there, you've got a pretty good sound of snare. Now you might like your preference to be a little bit looser. You like it, like it to be a little tighter. There's no wrong tuning for the snare drum. You just have to know the steps to get it to where you want it, okay? So first, take the snares out of the equation flip it, take any muffling that might be on there, flip it over, muffle one side, muffle the top side with your hand while you're working on the bottom side, put the stick in there, take the snare, the snares off the head, go lug by lug, get the sound you want, flip it over, do the same thing on the top head, then bring the snare slowly back into the equation until you get the sound you want. I hope that helps. Uh, if you've got any questions, just suit them my way. <laughs>